science and technology for sustainable future. Water irrigation device. Agriculture is the backbone sector of the Indian economy. Most of the Indian population is engaged in it. Now in this modern era, the use of new technologies and equipment have replaced almost all the traditional methods of farming. This agricultural evolution not only contributed to the growth of itself but also of the other sectors of the country. But still, there are some areas where correct use of technology has not been done. So, I, the Sargun Corps of Class 10, studying in Springdale Senior School Amritsar, have thought of making a water irrigation device that can be useful in watering the plants as it is required. Challenges faced while irrigating the field Number 1 is Decline in water level. Second, water logging and salinity. Third, interstate water disputes. Have you ever wondered why is irrigation important? Let's see. Irrigation is necessary to provide moisture for germination of seeds because germination of seeds does not take place under dry conditions. It is necessary for the absorption of nutrients by plants from the soil. Water is absorbed by the plant roots. Along with water, minerals and fertilizers are also absorbed. Irrigation is also necessary for healthy crop growth to get good yield. Nutrients dissolved in water get transported to each part of the plant. Water also protects the crop from both frost and hot air currents. Problems that are occurring or will occur without water irrigation device. Soil can be over irrigated due to poor distribution, uniformity or management wastes water, chemicals and may lead to water pollution. Over irrigation can cause deep drainage from rising water tables that can lead to problems of irrigation salinity requiring water table control by some form of subsurface land drainage. There is wastage of natural resources if the system isn't designed to apply water uniformly. Excess water will be wasted. A poor design can use too much water in some areas and too little in others. Waterborne or water-related diseases are commonly associated with the introduction of irrigation. The diseases most directly linked with irrigation are malaria, bilharzia and river blindness whose vectors proliferate in the irrigation waters. All these reasons may lead to the underdevelopment of the country. How will the water irrigation device solve these problems. The problems mentioned in the last slide can be solved by my device as the device would be made to learn some coding. After it will be coded, it would detect the plant that is to be watered and would release only as much water that is needed by the plant. Thus, solving the water wastage, over irrigation, and problems related to waterborne diseases. Visualization of the model. So, in my model, I'll be using artificial intelligence along with robotic skills and use of IoT Internet of Things. The working of my model. The 3D model that I have shown in the last slide is a visualization of the model. We will use IoT and AI as well as robotic skills in the device. 
AI-enabled IoT creates intelligent machines that simulate smart behavior with little or no human interference. While IoT deals with devices interacting using the internet, AI makes the devices learn from the data and experience. The device will be directly connected with the irrigation systems for irrigating a specific variety, the water needed by it. Software suggested to use are number one, clip folio, number two, power by. The special feature of the device would help in sensing which plant the farmer will be irrigating, thus releasing the correct amount of water for irrigation. This model also acts as an interface between sustainable present and future. I would like to thank all of you for watching this.